Hello everybody, and welcome to Demise of Nations. So today we're not going to do another part of the Let's Play, I'll save that for tomorrow. But I have something else for you guys. So a gentleman by the name of King Bulls did something outstanding for me. And I'm talking like extremely outstanding. So uh, let me just go ahead and show you what this fucker did. That's right, this guy actually gifted me nearly every map in this game. So, I would like to inform you all that I'm not a wealthy person. I don't normally say that word wealthy, but in this occasion I will. I barely have any money. So I couldn't afford any of the maps on this game. And this dude actually gave me all of these, including his own map, which is really why I'm making this video, is to show off his map. So really my main purpose for this is, this guy actually spent a lot of time on this map, he updated me on it, told me about it. And he really wanted me to review it, show it off. So my objective here is to convince you guys to get it, I guess. So I'll go and do that for you King Bulls, since that you did me a huge favor. So as you can see here, it is my map by King Bulls. A very creative name, if I say so myself. So there it is, you can see that little map up there. The War of 2018. Alright, so here you can see the map. Um, not the most accurate map, I wouldn't say that this is what the world would look about. I can't talk. I don't think that this is what the world would look like by next year, but hell, what do I know? I'm just a YouTuber. So here you can see the entire map. It actually goes all the way around. So see, there's Ireland. Go this way, there's Ireland again. So you have a ton of modern nations, I'm pretty sure that some random ones were added in as well. Yeah, see, Republic of Flex. I'm not sure if that's meant to be a joke or not, but I'll go with it. And North Korea is also in here, as well as South Korea on their border. So I do like that touch. Who should we play as? Oh, I know, the strongest nation on Earth. Let's see them. They gotta be in here. Uh, Sweden, I'll save you for another time. I love you, though. Let's see, where's the strongest nation on Earth? I'm looking for them. Come on. Oh, there they are. Island Republic. No. I think we're all looking at the same nation here. Iceland. <laughs> Alright, that's just fucking retarded. <laughs> Iceland is, of course, the strongest nation in the modern world, as we all know. So here you can see, there are a ton of, alright, there are a lot of places to get oil and steel. It seems that every nation has those, except India. India doesn't really have that many. But, you know, I said Iceland jokingly, but it seems like they have the best resources. So let's go ahead and take a look at diplomacy, since that every nation is at war. Yep, every single nation is at war with each other. Let's see, can I enter relations with them? No, you can't. Okay, so you can't make peace in this. It's just total war. Uh, no pun intended. But you can trade, you can help, you can request. I don't really see why you would do that, though. But yeah, it's just full-on war. All right. And there is motivation to actually do something because you invade, you get all, you get the land where you can make steel, get oil, all that kind of stuff. All right, King Bulls, I see what you're working with. So let's just go and take a look at the actual map. Just take a look around. Uh, it looks like a very well done map. I don't know how exactly you did it, but good job. And uh, there are multiple settings for this, um, domination, supremacy, that sort of thing. Alright. Well, I think I've pretty much done everything I can on this. So, King Bulls, I'll go and say, great job. Um, there aren't, oh, there aren't really any maps like this, just full-out Total War, Modern Nations. I do like the map that you chose, it's not, you know, the actual map, it's your own map. 
I do like that because there's already another map like that. So out of 10, I'll go and give this, go and give it an 8 out of 10. The only downside to it is there is no diplomacy, but I can look past that. You did a damn good job, King Bull. Okay, so of course for this video, I'm not going to be showing off every map because that would take forever. It really would, like the video would last forever. So I'm just going to go ahead and look at the ones that stick out to me. I already see a couple, but let's go with the Europe map. The Europe map during modern wars. Oh shit! Okay, it's like a World War II. All right. Yeah, World War II, a World War Three scenario, 1950, and the Cuban Missile Crisis. World War Three broke out when America invaded Cuba. Who will win this war? Uh, not the most well set up scenario to be honest, but. I'll still take a look at it. Well, of course, the one map that I wanted was a 1939 map, so of course I'll go with that. Uh, later on in the war, that doesn't really interest me as much, but the beginning of the war, 1939, that's what gets me. Well, I must say, your map is very appealing in terms of vision. Um, I do like the detail put into the map. Let's go and see. Alright, so they do actually switch out the names and some of the... Huh. So, like, the flags and the names are different. Okay. Swedish Kingdom, I wish, but let's go ahead and go with the main player in World War II. Uh, I don't really not like that you call it Nazi Germany because it's actually the Third Reich, but I'll go with it. Oh, I see. So, you unlock parts of the map. Alright, so it's not just like a full on map at the start, you actually have to unlock parts of it. Okay. So you just kind of have to guess what you're doing, really. Oh. Okay, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I expected. Well, I was going to say that this was going to be the perfect map, but no, it looks to be more, uh... Not really medieval, because look at that armor. Hmm. I'm not sure what time period this would be. Either way, it's not what I expected. I mean, I don't see why they couldn't have added in tanks and stuff. But I guess if you don't mind fighting World War II with... Once again, I'm not really... I don't really think that's medieval. Whatever time period this would be, if you're interested in fighting with this, I guess this is the map for you. I want to take a look at the later on World War II, see if that changes. Alright, this next one that I'm going to be looking at is the World Wars. So let's see if this improves upon this, the Europe map. Let's see if it improves. First World War to modern day. Oh, shit. Alright, let's see what you're working with. 2017 modern day. Alright, Cold War. Near the end of the Second World War, the start of the Second... Alright, so you have the start and the... Alright, I see. Before the Second World War, before the storm. I wonder how that would be different. Oh, maybe the map looks different. All right, that makes sense. Um, the Russian Civil War, okay. And the start of the First World War. Hmm. Well, of course, I wanted to see a 19, a proper 1939 map, so let's go and go with that. All right, well, I, I guess this is World War II. Um... Maybe once I select a nation, those, um, the border color will change. But, I mean, just in terms of the map, it's looking pretty good. I mean, the nations are huge. I mean, huge. Look at Russia. Imagine fighting in that. Oh, that would take forever. But let's go ahead and select a nation. Also, they do have the United States, Canada, South America, all that good shit. So I'm going to be taking a look at 1939 and modern day in this mod. So I guess let's... Hmm. Where the, the Third Reich is not at the top. Come on, where is it? Once again, Nazi Germany. Oh well. Alright, we are allied. Italy. 
Uh, don't tell me. Don't you dare fucking tell me. I'm actually, I'm gonna feel like such an idiot. Wait, wait, is this Hungary? Yeah, I think it is. It's Hungary. Yeah, alright. Alright, out of the Finland. Huh. Uh, Thailand was an Axis power. That's bothers me a little bit. All right, so the map definitely is not accurate. I mean, not the map itself, just the nations that are at war with each other. Not the most accurate. I don't think that Belgium was at war with France or the Netherlands. Uh, Luxembourg isn't in here either, but the units are actually kind of up to date, well, not with the time period, but it's better than the, I guess, ancient thing. So overall, the map, not the most well done, but it's not bad. Alright, so here's the modern map. So no nations are at war with each other, it seems. Let me look. Uh, taking a look, taking a look. Nope, no nations are currently at war with each other. Alright, I'm actually really liking this map. I mean, I haven't even gotten into it yet. I haven't even selected a nation, but I am liking it. I mean, imagine actually doing a Let's Play on this map. You guys want to see that? I mean, it would take forever, but still. Alright, and Luxembourg is in this as well. Hmm... Who should we pick? Of course, best nation on earth, Sweden. Let's do it. Hmm, that wasn't the best decision, was it? But I guess it doesn't really matter who I pick. I mean, just taking a look at the map, it all seems so well done. Oh god, why did he do that to Japan? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you know what? We can look past it. I mean, overall, this seems like a map that I would spend hours on. So, very well done, whoever made this. Alright, I decided to skip over a few, such as the invasion of Poland, uh, Wars of Europe, because that's just the modern day map, and Denmark, because I think we already know what's going to be invasion of Poland. Denmark, it's just that. But I actually want to take a look at this Rivers and Lakes map. 24 countries, I hope it is balanced. I highly doubt it, but let's get into it. Alright, so far this map is not impressing me because the first time I tried to open it, it crashed. So hopefully it does redeem itself. Hmm. Alright. So every nation starts off extremely small, and it seems like the map isn't that wide either, because... Yeah, you can see this nation right here just... Alright. I can also see, um, fields of, looks like wheat. I wonder if that, hmm. alright, let's just go and get into it. Let's stop talking about it. Oh, alright, so food is a factor in this, okay. Um, alright, so it appears in this that you do actually have to grow your own food, so that, I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, everything seems normal right here. Resources. Oh, alright, so resources got changed up a lot. So you harvest food, of course military units consume it, settlements do, and decay. So your food decays, and so does the wood. Huh. So you can actually have, like, lose resources, like have negative resources. All right. Uh, research, research. Ooh. All right, research seems a lot more important now. So if you want any chance of surviving, in the, oh god, I can't talk. If you want any chance of surviving, in this is what I meant to say. Then you need to research. You need to learn how to make better farms. And uh, let's see, bakery. All right, so this gives you more food and stuff. I see. Uh, units. So you start out with peasants, and then I'm thinking that you research better ones. 
Yeah, training of troops and barracks. Okay, so in this one you literally start out from nothing. Well, not literally. I mean, you do start out with some resources, some money. But every if you want your nation to prosper, then you need to do research. You need to build it up. You need to expand to get you know more farmland, stuff like that. And making alliances seems a lot more important because your military does not start out very strong. And it seems like it won't be strong for a while because you actually need to do, like I said, research. Alright. I kind of like this map. I really do. Because like I said, you pretty much start out from nothing and you have to build yourself up. I like this map. Okay. So I'd say this one is worth getting as well. as. Uh, of the ones that I've looked at so far, the map by King Bulls, this map, and the World Wars, yeah, the World Wars map, I think those are the three that are worth getting so far. But let's take a look at a couple more. Alright, so I caught, sorry, I saw a couple more, like Three Kingdoms, of course Punic Wars, but I think we already know what that's going to be. But I spotted Legacy Rise of Rome. This is what I was interested in. So let's go and take a look. Alright, so it is just the Rise of Rome, nothing more. I really do want to see this one. I see this is a mod maker of culture as well. So we see here it's pretty much the same thing as the ancient map from Age of Conquest 4. That's what it seems like because Sparta. Yeah, Sparta's involved with this. Uh, but we have to pick Rome. I really do want to pick Sparta, but I think Rome would be more interesting. Alright, so this one is like the last map as well. Can I just say, I really love maps like this. Like, this is... It's something else, just something that I love. Just resource managing, growing your own food. I mean, look at this. Just the bridges, the amount of detail put into this map is so damn good. I'm guessing in this, the main objective is to assist the rise of Rome. Uh, though the nations don't have colors, which could be a little bit confusing, but I can see past that. So, let's see the research for this. <clears throat> Alright, resource is pretty much the same thing as the other map with uh, rivers and lakes. That was the one. But in this, you actually have to ration your stuff, I guess I'll say. Uh, distribute it. So, you choose what amount to give to your military and what amount to give to your population. Huh. Alright, I really do like... <laughs> I still can't talk. I really do love maps like these. And see diplomacy. Alright, so the same thing as the normal maps. Declare war, request alliance, request peace. I'm going to spend time on this map. Alright, so out of all the maps that I looked at, and yes, I did look at some outside of recording because they really weren't that interesting. I think my map by King Bulls, The World Wars by Caper7. Hmm. Let's see, where is it? Rivers and Lakes, that one was interesting. By Justice. Uh, the Three Kingdoms scenario by. Capra, God, I can't talk. Capro, Caprontos. Sorry if I mispronounced that. But yeah, I didn't actually show that one. I, like I already said, that was pretty self-explanatory by the title. But it was still a cool map. And Legacy Rise of Rome. Those are maps worth getting, in my opinion. So yeah, I know that this was a bit of a different video, but I had to do a video on this, alright? I can't just be given all these maps and not make a video on them. So yeah, once again, thank you so much, King Bulls, for gifting me these. I will definitely play them. And I do appreciate them. 
And, uh, yeah, that'll be all for this video. I hope that you all did enjoy, and that you all have... I'll say, I hope that you all have an outstanding day, because today was a good day for me in particular. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all be next time. Goodbye.